in spite of a lot of the national scandals, etc., it was a fairly decent year. We were out of war. Uh, I don't think it was very happy because of the fuel shortage. It was a young, hearty crowd that showed up to celebrate New Year's Eve in Times Square. A steady rain and near-freezing temperatures left most wet, cold, and just a bit limp, waiting for 1974. The bad weather and the energy shortage was credited with keeping the crowd small, only about 50,000 as compared to 300,000 last year. Many persons had spent the last few hours of 1973 frantically searching for gasoline, but found most pumps here dry until at least Wednesday. Even the lights in the usually bright square had been dimmed, although you could always get a cheer under the television lights. Older folks stayed indoors mostly, at places like the Waldorf Astoria, where business was good at prices that ran to $65 a person for a steak dinner and all the Guy Lombardo you could dance to. Liquor, though, was extra, and because of that, or because of what 1973 had been, people seemed more thoughtful at the Waldorf, generally. But at midnight, despite the weather, the energy shortage, and all the other problems, people here still managed to gather up a last cheer as the ball fell to land on 1974. Robert Barr, CBS News, New York.
Yeah. Uh -huh. 